Hello, my name is Sander and welcome to the introduction video about the Inventory Master Asset. The Inventory Master Asset supports the new UI system 4.6 and has different inventories. You can create a craft system, an inventory, a character system, a storage box and hot, a hotbar. And you also got a tooltip for your, for your items. When we start this, we can open our inventory with I and can open our character system with C, our craft system with K, and we can open storage boxes with E. Okay, let me close the rest one, and we got a bread in, uh, in our inventory. When we right click onto it, you see the health on the top right side is getting uh, up by 10. Um, yeah, the bread has gives you 10 uh, health back. So when you right click again onto it, you see it's getting back. When we open our character system and uh, we right click onto our iron chest, and it's getting placed in a specific item uh, item slot. It's, you can um, yeah you can you can give uh, each slot a specific uh, item type. So only uh, this chest will only work in this slot and not in a different slot. You ca I can sh show you this. It's getting yeah, place back onto his old slot. So when you right click onto the rest, you, you also maybe recognize on the top right side um, we will get more max health. Um, yeah, each each of these um, gearable items give you a specific amount of um, health, or they give you a, a attribute. And yeah, they are getting updated uh, when you gear them. And when I right click onto this iron chest, uh, I will get m 10 more health uh, than before. Because yeah, the old one had 10 health and the new one has 20 health now. And when we gear the rest one, which we maybe can gear um, the weapon one, we got also got two slots for weapons. And when I right click now onto it, it's getting swapped. Yeah. Okay. Let me go in onto the consumables. When you right click onto them, um, yeah, you can consume them. You also can split the items. Uh, you only have to press uh, the right control and. Uh, left click onto it and they split them. Um, when you create an item you can set a max a max value of um, of a stack. So these stacks are not only stackable to 10. These stacks only um, are um, this raw meat is only stackable by 5 so there is no mo you, you cannot stack more than 5 uh, onto one stack in this example here. Um, let us go into our craft system. When we press K, we can open this, and we can just take this apple and this uh, empty bottle into onto it, and we see we can create an apple juice onto uh, out of it. When we right click on uh, on it, you know we can just create this apple juice out of it, and when we right click again onto it, uh, another apple juice is getting created and it's getting stacked onto this item. Um, when we drag and drop our bread and our raw meat onto it, we got more possibilities out of these all items. Uh, we can go through them with these arrows, and this hamburger is getting created out of these both items, and this raw meat only needs uh, this cooked meat needs raw meat, and yeah, the, uh, the the apple juice is getting created out of these both items. When you right click onto cooked meat, it's getting um, yeah the number is getting lower by one. And when we create a hamburger, uh, the bread and uh, the raw meat is getting deleted once. The system also has um, a blueprint database. When you want to create a blueprint, you only need to create uh, to add a specific final item, and you need to add the ingredients with the values uh, in it. When you have um, yeah, maybe forgotten something or whatever, or you want to change a value, you can uh, go into man uh, on manage blueprints and manage your blueprints how you like. You also can add another ingredient and yeah, and add a new value onto it. When you want to create a new item, you go to this item database and press add item, and you got this nice mask here. And yeah, you can add this item name in it. The item description, item icon, uh, model, uh, the item type for it, the max stack. How I said before, so maybe you got a stack of, uh, you want to st have a stack of 50. You can create out, uh, this out of it. Uh, then maybe uh, you got an item which gives you a health back. You can just uh, um, yeah take this as health. When you need something different, uh, not like health, or you need something different, you just can type this in and add this, and you can add this now here, and 
you can uh, type this value into onto it. When you save this, you can go also go to manage items, and um, you go to this a new item, and you can delete this, or you can also uh, change all values how you like. When you need another um, attribute, an uh, attribute, you can just add this with this plus button and save them again. But we don't want it. Um, if you like this asset, or uh, you are not sure if you want to buy it, uh, you can write me an email if you have some questions. Uh, you also can go um, and use the web version of it. Uh, there's the link below of it. And yeah, if you have some questions, just write me an email, and uh, I will answer as uh, fast as I can. Um, further videos will come now. Uh, they we will create a complete scene about um, yeah, like this scene here, and I will show you how this inventory system is working. And we also will script with um, so that you know how the event system um, of the system is working. Okay, see you. Bye bye.